Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video I'm going to react to real prison escapes caught on camera. Now this should be something else because this is something that probably is attempted a lot but I mean rarely successful and rarely caught on camera. I mean if I was sentenced to I mean god forbid like if I was sentenced to like 40 50 years or life or something and the opportunity was there i guess you'd have to think about it wouldn't you because what's the alternative that you literally are going to spend the, the your whole life behind bars so it takes you know i guess you're in a desperate situation but it's just unlikely with all the technology that exists now it's just unlikely that you get away with it but seeing these attempts is going to be cool so let's do it Criminals have been trying to escape prisons ever since their inception. In most cases, prison breaks fail, but this isn't always the case. Escapes don't only happen in the movies, as they actually happen much more often than you'd like to think in the real world. It's human nature to seek freedom, and it's going to be very clear the length some people will take to relish that sweet taste of fresh air. Luckily for us, most fail, but those very few truly committed criminals who are willing to risk it for the biscuit sometimes succeed spectacularly. Ready to meet the guys that escaped and lived to tell the tale? Let's get it on. Under the radar. Sometimes you just have to wing it. No pre-planning, thought process, or careful consideration. If you see an opening, you take it. Two inmates were on garage duty outside the high fences of the prison. All it took was a fleeting glance towards each other, a little nod, and they were wow. off. They bolted out of the prison grounds as fast as they could, leaving wow. the supervising guard staring after them in disbelief as he called in the escape on his radio. Once oh, the coast was clear, man. the pair split up to go their separate ways. To, you're not gonna look look at how much open space there is they're not gonna get far it's every man for himself they were apprehended a few days later in a nearby barn and apartment complex how these days. guys flew under the radar and convinced the guards to let them outside without restraints is anyone's guess over the fence some criminals would how did they manage to stay uncaught for for, for multiple days i would have thought that if you were if you can stay out of stay away from the police for that long you, you you've escaped assuming you keep on moving. Move heaven and earth in order to be free from the prison walls. Others would just simply move part of the wall. These two inmates removed a couple of cinder blocks and squeezed through the openings before throwing a blanket over a 25 foot high razor wire fence and fleeing into the woods. The holes in the wall were covered by posters and they even made dummies out of pillows and blankets and by posters, just like Shawshank. Beds to buy them valuable time. After all that work, they were caught when a local resident saw tracks in the mud at a nearby creek and alerted the authorities. If you're thinking of breaking out of jail, it'd probably be best if you didn't follow in the footsteps of these crooks. And threw a blanket over the razor wire before running across the roof to a temporary freedom. Think fast, act fast. When at first you don't succeed, try and try again. After a few failed attempts over the course of a day, this jailbird decided to bide his time and wait for his moment. When one presented itself, he had to think fast and act fast. As the police moved away from the patrol car to process his transfer, this guy saw an opening as the garage door was closing. He sprinted out of the tiny opening wow. with the best display of speed limbo you've ever seen in your life. As the roller door closed behind him, it took wow. the cops valuable minutes to get outside oh and by this stage, God. he was long gone. He covered so much ground that not even a two-hour sniffer dog search could find him. He was arrested the next day, and you could say his luck had run out. <laughs> Pun very much intended. How do they get caught? I'm guessing they send the helicopters. Because once you've got the aerial view, it's just a matter of at, at night using infrared cameras. Oh, man. He got away for a day, though. Not bad. Slow and controlled. When you're not a criminal mastermind, you have to play to your strengths. Being a silver-tongued Casanova has its perks, especially if the guard making eyes at you just happens to be holding the keys to the only barrier between you and freedom. These guys calmly opened the gate and casually strolled out of the jail with no urgency at all, without a care in the world. There aren't many scenarios where a prison guard and an escaped con can live happily ever after. She's seen running her hands through her hair and looking totally stressed out, rethinking her life choices. The following day, she's arrested and the three guys on the run are apprehended five days later after a tense siege with police. Stick five to what you're days. good at, guys. Breaking hearts, not breaking out of jail. A camera in the alley outside captured the men dressed in all white casually walking away. Van hit and run. If something's too good to be true, it generally is. I wonder how much extra time do you get for attempting to break out of prison? 
or do you just get simply moved to a different facility? They've got to give you more time, surely, because otherwise everybody would attempt it. A group of prisoners were being escorted through the garage on their way back to their cells. One is seen lingering and soon after walks behind a transport van out of sight, with the guards going ahead and not noticing he's missing. All that's left for him to do is open the door, turn the key that's so conveniently sitting in the ignition, and start the van. It's like the stars have aligned and the universe is almost begging him to take his chances for freedom. He floors the van, smashing through the garage door and is free and clear. Or so he thought. He crashed into some trees nearby and was arrested. Oh, Most no. people steal a car and he then crashed. get sent to jail, not the other way around. <sighs> Handcuffs. Even dumb criminals get lucky breaks eventually. After being arrested at a motel for theft, this woman found her way into a police holding cell. She was left alone with her phone to try to arrange bail money in a life home. She struggles to break free of the cuffs, anchoring her to the wall in between checking text messages. Even though police say the cuffs were on its tightest setting, she was able to wriggle her dainty hands free. She took the keys off a hook on the wall and used them to open an emergency exit to quietly slip out the back door while no one was watching. She was busted an hour later when she returned to the same hotel where she was arrested that morning, instantly recognized by the staff who worked there. Why did she go back? Why? Bulldozer attack. Denmark is famous for Vikings and Lego bricks, but mass prison escapes? Not so much. 25 years ago, a TV film crew received an anonymous tip about a protest outside of a prison in Copenhagen and went there to document the event. What happened next was a bulldozer slamming into the brick wall of the jail and knocking wow. it down, with prisoners running out of the hole like ants fleeing from the- If you're a prisoner, this is the scenario you want. Because if there's a lot of you and you all go in different directions, you're gonna sp basically, the police force has to separate two. This is the ideal scenario for an escape, but I mean, it's unlikely you'd able, ever be able to arrange such a thing. In their nest, they can be seen running down the street laughing and cheering, celebrating their newfound freedom. The film crew were arrested on suspicion of having prior knowledge of the escape and failing to notify police. 13 inmates escaped in total, some with lengthy jail terms for violent crimes and murder, with only three ever being caught. Bingo, told you, knew it. Only three got caught. <laughs> Detailed instructions. Prisons are designed to keep inmates in, not to give them easy ways to get out. After all, the key to success is executing a carefully detailed plan. Typically, you would think that installing air vents large enough for a man to squeeze through close to the floor would be a bad idea in a prison, but this was exactly how this trio gained access into the plumbing shafts behind the wall. They used ropes made out of bed sheets and had a getaway van waiting with fresh clothes and a bottle of Jack Daniels for a celebratory drink. It only took eight minutes for three inmates to complete their complex plan, ironically using a cell phone to film their escape from their cell. These guys what? traded 15 minutes of fame for an extra 15 years behind bars. Oh, 15 extra years. <laughs> Whoo! Daring escape. They say that courage is not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. Arrested at school for fighting, this teenager was left alone in an interrogation room for only 10 seconds before he threw caution to the wind and fearlessly jumped out of a 16-foot high second-story oh window. He may just have rubber bones, as he got straight back up after surviving the fall wow. and got out of there as fast as his legs could carry him. He's the cop fast. comes to check on him 14 minutes. 14 minutes later? later and you can clearly hear him saying a few choice words when he realizes what's happened the boy was found three hours later at his friend's house we can safely say that when he turns 21 the only bars he'll be attending will be made of iron through the window the mind is a powerful thing. All you have to do is believe in yourself and commit. This inmate had a pretty simple plan. He was being processed in a detention center. One of his buddies would distract the guard while he made his getaway. When he saw an extremely small window, he thought, think thin, over and over in his head before taking a running leap, diving through the window. Once outside, he got into the getaway car his girlfriend was waiting in, and they were off like a modern day Bonnie and Clyde. 26 days later, they were discovered living in an abandoned house in the next state after an anonymous tip-off. The warden said he's later. taking extra steps and putting locking mechanisms on the window, which should have been a no-brainer in a prison.
Oops. Hey, you still there? He stayed out for a month. Well, since you made it this far, here are all the shout outs we Crazy. promised everyone. That was intense. Very intense. I don't know why, but my mind was just thinking and, and critiquing the strategies used by the prisoners to escape. And it's just, uh, I don't know. It's like, um, obviously, you don't want any of these violent criminals to escape. But it's just, I can't help but think, you know, God forbid if I was in that scenario, what would I do? Like, how would I try it? Like, even though I'd, I'll, I'd never be in that situation, you, like the, the Denmark uh, bulldozing was perfect. I mean, just absolutely perfect in the sense of the strategy, not what happened. Because uh, yeah, like if everybody's free, they're not gonna have the resources to go after everyone. They're gonna have to prioritize perhaps maybe the most violent criminals, those that have the highest, the, the longest sentences. So really, if you're in there for, I don't know, petty theft or something, chances are you're gonna probably get away with it. Even though Denmark is quite a small country, so maybe that goes against them. But yeah, really, really, and, and also they're gonna, you know, put your, your mugshot everywhere. So you're gonna have to change your appearance. But yeah, this was a really, really fun video. Really, really uh, thought-provoking too. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.